now let's do division division of fraction number eight one half divided by one half is it equals to one divided by two divided by one divided by two the answer here is no it is false one divided by two that is point five point five divided by one and that is point five 0.5 divided by 2 and the answer here is 0.25. Si 0.25 ay hindi pariho sa 1 half divided by 1 half and that is 1. 1 is not equals to 0.25. Ngayon, dahan-dahanin natin paanong naging 1 si 1 half divided by 1 half. Again, any number na i-divide by itself. Ang sagot dyan ay 1. Ngayon, paano mag-divide ng fraction? Si 1 half, kopyahin. Si division maging multiplication at reciprocal ni divisor 2 over 1. Ngayon, pwede na nating i-multiply. 1 times 2 equals 2. 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 over 2, that is 1. So, ang sagot dito sa 1 half divided by 1 half equals 1. 1, while ang 1 half, 1 divided by 2 equals 0. 0.5, divided by 1 equals 0. 0.5, divided by 2, that is 0. 0.25. And 0. 0.25 is not equal to 1. So, ang sagot dito sa number 8 ay false. Bago tayo mag-proceed, dito muna tayo sa elementary algebra na libro. PEMDAS pa rin ito. In simplifying numerical expressions, the following order of operations, or kilalang PEMDAS or IMDAS for short, should be followed. Kailan tayo mag-follow ng order of operation? If the given is more than one yung mga operations. Ngayon, kung ang operation ay addition lang, no need na tayong gumamit ng order of operation. Pero kung more than one, like merong addition at subtraction or mayroong division at um, multiplication or lahat yan, basta more than one. Ang mga operations, ang ibig sabihin yan, yung division, uh, multiplication, subtraction, addition, may mga parenthesis, yan yung mga operations. May mga squared, yung mga ganyan, yan yung operations. So, kung more than one, we should follow order of operations. Now, so first, perform the operations within the grouping symbols. If the expression contains grouping symbols within a grouping symbol, simplify first the innermost group. Take note. The grouping symbols often used in algebra are the parentheses, brackets, braces, the fraction line. Ulitin ko. The grouping symbols often used in algebra are the parentheses, brackets, braces, the fraction line, and the radical sign. Kasi itong fraction line, bakit siya nandito sa grouping? Groupings. Kasi meron siyang group of numbers na merong numerate, numerators over denominators. Denominators. Isang group po yan siya. Kaya nandito siya sa step number 1 ng PEMDAS. Uulitin ko, the grouping symbols often used in algebra are the parentheses, brackets, braces, and the fraction line, and the radical sign. Ngayon, next, evaluate the exponential expression. Nasa step number 3, Lang si multiply and divide from left to right. Then, step number four, add and subtract from left to right. Para naman sa pinakadetalye ng ating regarding sa PEMDAS, panoorin nyo yung part one dito. Kasi detalyado na yun with regards sa PEMDAS. Meron doon ang grade four, grade five, grade six, grade seven. Hindi na natin yun ulitin. Panoorin nyo na lang yung video yung Yung video yun. Dito, mag-focus lang tayo sa 
division of fraction. Na si fraction line ay may mas higher pa siya sa division lang. Although pareho silang division, makapag-divide. Pero groups siya. Numerator over denominator. Number 9. 10 divided by 1 half is what? 10, i-divide muna kung ilan yung 1 half sa 10. Obviously, 20. There are 20 halves sa 10. 10 divided by 1 half. Again, si fraction line ay nasa step number 1 ni order of operation or yung PEMDAS nasa P siya, groupings. Si division nasa step number 3. So, kopyahin si 10. Si division maging multiplication. Ito yung uh, how to divide fraction ba. Tapos, si division natin maging multiplication at itong divisor na 1 half ay yung reciprocal niya 2 over 1. So, 10, ito automatic man yan na may denominator na 1. Lahat ng mga whole numbers. So, 10 times 2 equals 20. So, ang sagot sa number 9 ay 20. I-double check muna natin siya using scientific calculator. 1 half, okay, divided by 1 half. 1 half. And that is equals to 1. Next. 10, bali 10, divided by 1 half, and that is equals to 20. So, therefore, ang sagot natin ay tama. Kung nalilito kayo dito sa division of fraction, ilalagay ko sa description below yung iba pang mga examples about division of fractions. Erase ko lang yan at mayroon tayong iba pang example Dito na medyo viral siya. Ito yon. Can you solve this? Liitan muna natin ito. Erase, erase, erase. At liitan natin siya. Ngayon, masolve lang natin ito kung i-review natin yung order of operation. So, kung yung detalye regarding sa order of operation, panuorin nyo yung part 1. Ilalagay ko sa description ng video ito yung link sa part 1 dito para ma-review nyo yun kung bakit or kung bakit ganit ganon tayo mag uh, kasi yung iba naman yung pag-solve nila sa MDAS as usual unahin nila yung multiplication kahit ang nauna ay division uh, sa step number 4 naman unahin talaga nila yung addition kahit ang nauna naman ay subtraction so para maliwanagan ma kayo don kailangan nyo talagang i-review or panuorin yung part 1 nito. Kasi hindi ko na yon uulitin. Ngayon, isolve na natin ito. Ang nanditong mga operations ay subtraction, division. Meron tayong fraction, so fraction line. At addition, meaning more than one ang operations na nandito. So, we will follow order of operations. Alin ang nauna? So, sa PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. Step number one, yung parenthesis natin, walang parenthesis. Ang groupings natin, yung fraction line. So, meron tayong fraction. Hindi man natin yan basta-basta ang i-divide yung 1 over, over 3 na gawin natin siyang decimal kasi uh, 0.33 yan siya. Non-stop tayo dyan. So, repeating decimal siya. So, i-keep lang natin siya as fraction. Then, doon tayo sa division kasi yan yung higher dito, ang next step number 4 na yung subtraction at addition natin. So, division tayo. Ngayon, division of fraction. So, 3 divided by 1 third. Kopyahin si 3. Tapos, si division maging multiplication at reciprocal ni device, divisor. So, 1 third natin maging 3 over 1. So, itong 3 divided by 1 third, that means... 9 siya. So, may 9 na 1 third sa 3. 3 divided by 1 third equals 9. May 9, inulit ko lang, may 9 na 1 third sa 3. Ngayon, kopyahin. 9 minus 9 plus 1. Kung sakaling tama kayo sa first part dito, 
maraming nagkakamali nito. Kasi ang nauna dito ay subtraction. Yung iba na ang akala nila ay yung akala nilang MDAS, pag sinabing MDAS, addition lang talaga unahin nila. Hindi nila alam na meron pang left to right sa method nito. Kinalimutan na si left to right. Si multiplication at si division rank equal yan. Ganon din si addition at subtraction rank equal yan siya. So, kung alin ang mauna. Kung sakaling hindi kayo convinced na pwedeng unahin natin si subtraction, please watch nyo yung part 1 ng video ito kasi malinaw na uh, pinaliwanag doon. So, 9 minus 9, that is 0. Plus 1 equals 1. So, ang sagot dito ay 1 ang sagot dito. Para mas malinaw lang, gamitan natin ng scientific calculator. 9 minus 3 divided by 1 third. So, 1 over 3. Next, plus 1. So, that is 9 minus 3 divided by 1 third plus 1. And that is equals to 1. So, therefore, ang sagot natin na 1 ay tama. Kung sakaling meron pa rin naguguluhan tungkol dito sa question na ito, itong equation na ito, later na lang mag-upload ulit tayo ng video about dito na may kumplitong references. Bali, ulitin lang natin kung sakali lang titingnan natin. So, dito ang sagot na ay 1. Ngayon, abangan na lang ang with regards sa LCD versus LCD, LCM versus LCD, Venn diagram at saka yung subjunctive mood. Malapit na tayong matapos dito.